wind, rain, and dropping temperatures. Lonnie Quinn tracking your ever-changing forecast. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Stormy weather for many in the tri-state area, but what does it mean for tomorrow? Lonnie Quinn in the Stormwatch Center tracking it all for us. Lonnie. You know, I think the timing for tomorrow's commute is not terrible. I, I think most of this is going to be falling while you're sleeping. Now, if you take a peek at the Vortex radar and satellite, you know, it's our northwest community is already starting, starting to dry out a bit, but a pretty decent line of rain anywhere from Dutchess County, Litchfield County in Connecticut, right through the metro areas, out to the island, down to the Jersey Shore. Uh, what you're looking at in terms of the amount of rain that's fallen already, New York City with the biggest number, about three quarters of an inch right now, about a quarter of an inch around Belmar, about a quarter of an inch for the Hamptons, quarter of an inch in, Bright in Bridgeport, Connecticut, Somerville, also 0.23. So what happens from this point forward? Well, as you go through the overnight hours, what you're looking at right here, the information, the data for New York City, all right, so I want you to make, make, you know, make a little adjustment depending on where you live. For New York City, two more hours of steady rain. Then after that, it's four more hours on again, off again. Should be calming down for the morning commute. That lasts longer the further east you go, okay? 48, the starting point, okay? If 48's the starting point, you're not going to get up much higher than that as you get to your afternoon hours. I think 48, maybe 46, possibly by 2.30 in the afternoon. Marisa, let's go over to you.